In the vast world of One Piece, where pirates roam the seas and dreams are pursued with fervor, there exists a select group of individuals whose power and influence loom large over the turbulent waters. They are the warlords of the sea, feared and respected by all who dare to challenge their might. From the cunning and ruthless crocodile, to the enigmatic and powerful Myhawk, each warlord commands their own domain, carving out their place in the annals of history. But in a world where alliances are fragile and loyalties ever shifting, the fate of every warlord hangs in the balance. In this video, we delve into the fate of these legendary figures, exploring their triumphs, their downfalls, and the legacy they leave behind. Join us as we journey through the tumultuous world of One Piece, where the destiny of every warlord is written in blood and glory. The Seven Warlords of the Sea were once very powerful in One Piece, but their lives drastically changed when they ultimately left the group. The Seven Warlords of the Sea were once one of the three great powers in One Piece. Each of them were reputable pirates who agreed to work with the government. As a result, their bounties were frozen and they were allowed to commit certain crimes. Several pirates have been part of the Seven Warlords, and their lives drastically changed when they left the group. Several of the Seven Warlords had their titles revoked, while others decided to resign of their own volition. Most of the Seven Warlords lost their titles when the system was abolished during the last reverie. None of One Piece's Seven Warlords have died, and that is because fate clearly had other plans for them. Number E. Buggy has become one of the new Yonko. Most One Piece fans would agree that Buggy the Clown is a weak and cowardly villain, but he is also entertaining. During the Summit War, the world discovered that Buggy once sailed with Gold D. Roger and the Roger Pirates. He was also seen berating Shanks, one of the Yonko. These factors caused Buggy's reputation to grow under false pretenses, but he was still invited to the Seven Warlords. When the Warlords were abolished, Buggy's crew was attacked by a fleet of marine ships. He attempted to escape, but Crocodile saved him. He agreed to help Crocodile and Myhawk with their cross-guild organization, but one of Buggy's workers accidentally assumed Myhawk and Crocodile were Buggy's henchmen. As a result, Buggy was named one of the new Yonko. In reality, though, he is now a fall guy and punching bag. Number 10. Gecko Moria was captured by the Blackbeard Pirates. Gecko Moria was the main villain of the thriller Bark Arc. He became one of the seven warlords of the sea after fighting Kaido in Wano, and it helped that he built an island-sized ship. Moria could manipulate shadows, thanks to the Shadow Shadow Fruit, but he did not seem to have any type of haki. Moria was defeated by Luffy, and he did not do well during the Summit War. Immediately after the war, Doflamingo and several pacifista units attempted to kill Moria. They had apparently received orders to eliminate Moria because he was deemed too weak. Fortunately, he was saved by his crewmates. During the Wano arc, Moria attacked Pirate Island to rescue Absalom, but he gets captured by the Blackbeard Pirates. Number 9. Bartholomew Kuma was turned into a cyborg slave, but he got some vengeance. Bartholomew Kuma was once a slave who became a high-ranking member of the Revolutionary Army. He agreed to join the Seven Warlords because he wanted to use the world government's resources to save his daughter's life. Saint J. Garcia Saturn of the Five Elders offered Kuma this deal, but it was also stated that Kuma needed to become a mindless cyborg with no free will. Kuma agreed, and he did the world government's bidding for several years. The final operation took place just before the Summit War, and Kuma became nothing more than a weapon. Sometime after the time skip, Kuma became a slave for the Celestial Dragons again. He felt nothing, but his body was still mistreated. During the events of the Egghead arc, he rushes to Egghead to protect his daughter from Saturn. It is during this battle that Kuma finally gets some revenge by punching Saturn. Number 8. Edward Weevil was captured by Admiral Ryokuju. Edward Newgate, also known as Whitebeard, was considered the strongest man in the world. He had one of the highest bounties in history, and the Tremor Tremor fruit gave him the power to destroy entire islands. Edward Weevil is the self-proclaimed son of Whitebeard, but he is not as strong as him. He became a warlord during the time skip. As a warlord, Weevil spent most of his time hunting the remnants of the Whitebeard pirates with his mother. They wanted Whitebeard's fortune. When the Seven Warlords were abolished, 
Weevil defeated the Marines, who were sent after him. He and his mother then went to Sphinx Island to find Marco, who was in Wano at the time. Weevil defended the island from the Marines, but he was defeated and arrested by Admiral Ryokugyu. He is now on his way to Impel Down. Number 7. Trafalgar D. Waterlaw suffered a major defeat on Winner Island. During the time skip, Trafalgar D. Waterlaw attacked Pirate Island and sent 100 Pirate Hearts to the world government. He achieved his warlord status because of this act. Law became a warlord because he wanted to gain access to Punk Hazard. His goal was to destroy the sad factory that produced the artificial devil fruits that Doflamingo sold to Kaido. Once he ruined Doflamingo's operation, he resigned from the warlords. He helped to liberate Dress Rosa from Doflamingo, and he defeated Big Mom with Eustace Kid's help. He fought the Blackbeard pirates on Winner Island shortly after leaving Wano, but his crew was no match for them. Law may have been rescued by Beppo, but his current whereabouts and status are uncone. Number 6. Doflamingo is currently imprisoned in Impel Down. Doflamingo was born a world noble, but he lost his status when his father decided to leave Mary Geois. Unlike the other warlords, he was given the title because he blackmailed the world government. As a former noble, he had valuable information, which he threatened to reveal to the world. Doflamingo ruled Dressrosa like a tyrant for more than a decade. He nearly destroyed the entire kingdom with his string string fruit. In the end, Doflamingo was defeated by Luffy's Gear 4 transformation. The marines who were on Dressrosa then arrested him for his crimes. After being stripped of his title, Doflamingo was sent to Impel Down, the world government's underwater prison. He is currently imprisoned on level 6, which houses the world's worst criminals. Number 5. Boa Hancock has decided to marry Luffy. Boa Hancock was the only female member of the Seven Warlords of the Sea, and she is madly in love with Luffy. She helped him to break into Impel Down, and she aided him during the Summit War. When the Seven Warlords were abolished, a fleet of marine ships were sent to Amazon Lily to arrest her. Boa is considered the most beautiful woman in the world, and she used her looks in tandem with her devil fruit to petrify most of the marines. During the fight, she was captured by Blackbeard, and she would have died if Silver's Rayleigh had not shown up. In the weeks since the attack, Boa has finally decided that she wants to marry Luffy. Number 4. Jinbei has become the helmsman of the Straw Hat Pirates. Jinbei became a warlord because he thought it would help strengthen the relationship between Fishman Island and the world government. When Jinbei debuted, he was a prisoner in Impel Down. He was there because he refused to battle the Whitebeard Pirates at Marineford. At the time, Fishman Island was under Whitebeard's protection. Jinbei escaped Impel Down with Luffy, and he later saved Luffy's life at Marineford. He is also the one who brought Luffy back to his senses when Ace died. He went on to serve Big Mom during the time skip, but he decided to leave her crew to join the Straw Hat Pirates. He officially joined the Straw Hats just before the Onigashima raid, and he is now the crew's helmsman. Number 3. Crocodile founded Cross Guild. Crocodile was the main villain of the Arabasta arc, and he is one of the strongest enemies that Luffy has fought. He used his position to protect the people of Arabasta, but he secretly wanted to take control of the kingdom. He also set up a criminal organization that was designed to overthrow the Nefertari family. Crocodile is defeated by Luffy, and he is then arrested by Smoker. He is stripped of his warlord title and sent to Impel Down. He escapes from the underwater prison with Luffy, and he actually helps his former enemy during the Summit War. During the events of the Wano arc, Crocodile helps Mohawk with the marine fleet that was sent to capture him. He is now the co-leader of Cross Guild, an organization that places bounties on marines. Number 2. Dracul Myhawk is currently working with Crocodile. Dracul Myhawk was the first warlord of the sea that the Straw Hats encountered. He is considered the world's strongest swordsman, and he wields Yoru, a large black blade that is recognized as one of the world's 12 supreme grade swords. He is the one who gave Zoro his iconic chest scar, but he also trained Zoro during the time skip. He fought for the world government during the Summit War, but he left the battlefield when Shanks and the Red Hair Pirates arrived. When the warlords were abolished, 
Mahawk was amused at the thought of being a wanted man again. When Crocodile helped him to escape from Kuraigana Island, Mihawk agreed to become the co-leader of Cross Guild. Number 1. Marshal D. Teach is now one of the Yonko. Marshal D. Teach became a warlord when he delivered Portgas D. Ace to the Marines. He only wanted to become a warlord because the title gave him access to Impel Down. Instead of joining the other warlords at Marineford, he went to Impel Down and liberated several level 6 inmates. These inmates joined his crew, and they all became commanders with the Blackbeard Pirates. Teach took these inmates to Marineford and killed Whitebeard. He resigned from the Seven Warlords after stealing Whitebeard's Tremor Tremor Fruit's power. Following the events of the Summit War, Teach took Whitebeard's place as one of the Yonko. He is now the leader of Pirate Island, and he is actively looking for the other road poneglyphs. And there you have it, the fate of every warlord in the world of One Piece. From the heights of power and influence, to the depths of defeat and redemption, these iconic figures have left an indelible mark on the grand tapestry of the One Piece universe. Whether they sought glory, wealth, or simply survival, each warlord embarked on their own unique journey, encountering friends and foes alike along the way. Some met their end in epic battles, while others found redemption through acts of sacrifice and heroism. But regardless of their ultimate fate, the legacy of the warlords lives on, shaping the course of history and inspiring countless tales of adventure and daring on the high seas. As the Straw Hat Pirates continue their quest for the fabled One Piece, one can't help but wonder what new challenges and adversaries await them in the ever-expanding world of One Piece. Join us next time as we delve deeper into the mysteries and wonders of this beloved anime series. Until then, set sail and let the adventure begin.